Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States, reads, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And for us at Atlanta Technical College, those words could not be more true as we create a pathway for students to invest in their future by learning, enhancing, and perfecting skills in some of the leading career paths in the nation. I'm Caroline Angelo, Executive Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs at Atlanta Technical College. Our partners at Fulton County Schools have some exciting news to share on this episode of Atlanta Tech Talks. Please welcome Dr. Jima Whitaker, Deputy Chief Academic Officer for Fulton County Schools. Welcome to Atlanta Tech Talks, where we highlight the college's people, partnerships, collaborations, and programs that help move Atlanta and our surrounding communities forward. I'm your host, Antonio Hicks, and we're excited to have you along on this journey. In today's discussion, you've got option, option B for high school students. I welcome on Dr. Whitaker of Fulton County School District, one of ATC's strategic partners. Welcome on, Dr. Whitaker. Thanks for being here, and thank you for being part of our new digital adventure. Oh, well, thank you for the invitation. Glad to be here. Thank you. You've Got Options is an amazing title for this episode. The cat is out of the bag, and you're about to hear it first. Fulton County Schools and Atlanta Technical College has a new partnership. Talk to us about middle college program and what this means for the Fulton County School students. Thank you so much. I am so excited to announce that we will have a Fulton County Middle College. So in August of 2024, high school students in South Fulton will be able to enroll in a middle college. And I'm sure most of you are wondering what exactly is a middle college. So this means that our students will be able to go ahead and graduate, not with our traditional diploma, but the option B diploma. So they will take nine core courses at the site that they typically know right now as McLaren. But then the remainder of their coursework while they are in high school will allow them to graduate with two technical certificates. So that means they are graduating fully ready to engage in career. So I'm really excited about this because when we think about areas such as avionics technology, diesel equipment technology, um, even something such as logistics or even welding, all of these are areas and certificates that our students will be able to graduate with and they will be ready like I said to go ahead and engage in career. So why was it important for Fulton County Schools to partner with Atlanta Technical College? It was critical um, because number one our goal in Fulton is to prepare our students to be ready to graduate to proceed to graduate to pursue whatever path they desire. So for some it is college, but for some, it's also career. And so that means through this partnership between Atlanta Technical College and also Fulton County Schools, our students will be able to take classes here at Atlanta Technical. They can also take the classes at the former McLaren site, and they can do that at no cost. And so that is really something that will be the first really probably in the metro area and definitely in the entire state where our students will have a true building that is dedicated to that option B diploma. Another critical piece around this partnership is that we are able to leverage Atlanta Technical, Atlanta Technical College's faculty mm -hmm. in order to instruct our students in that dual enrollment environment. So they are really getting that cutting edge that true relevant experience so that they are able to engage in that high wage opportunity when they graduate. Okay. So how would a strategic partnership with Atlanta Technical College help to move the region forward, specifically helping to prepare for your young people? This region. So it's very important that when we think about the region, we think about where this region is located. Mm -hmm. So we are in the shadows of the largest, the busiest, and probably the most efficient airport. This region that the middle college will serve will be able to provide talent. So when we were talking about this partnership with Atlanta Technical, we decided to survey, survey those workforce-ready um, 
organizations, also our economic organizations, and they said, we need talent. Mm -hmm. We need talent that is going to come out and be ready to go ahead and be employed. So how do we get someone who has the credentials coming out of high school for logistics or for welding or for avionics technology? All of these are areas and industries that are booming here, specifically in the South Fulton region. And the best way for this partnership to work um, and really to benefit the region is to provide that talent right out of high school. Okay. So what do you see as the biggest hurdle or misconception impacting student achievement as they exit high school and pursue careers in higher education? I would say the true readiness. Um, When you think about a student who is coming out of high school, they've typically been um, obviously in a home where mom or dad or aunt, grandma, someone tells them to get up, potentially when they go to school there, they're on some sort of routine. But when it comes time to be ready for career, there is a level of competency our high school students need. And that level of competency, one, starts probably with the ability to communicate in writing, Mm -hmm. um, to also be able to communicate verbally. And so that is a career competency that a student needs. Another one is the ability to know how to problem solve and be able to work well in a team, collaborate. Those sorts of critical thinking skills are hurdles that our students need to really um, grasp. And then that last one is one I would just probably bucket into professionalism. Know that you must go to work mm-hmm. and you must go to work on time. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's also awesome. That's very important. Very important. So when they're not going to work or consistently or not going on time, not understanding how to have um, engage in a conflict. It mm-hmm. does happen at work. How how do you address that type of conflict? Those types of professionalism competencies, those career competencies, are important in the workplace. But truly, it's important in college, and most important, it's important for life. So those types of competencies are the biggest hurdles that I think our students need to get over so they're ready to engage and engage productively. Okay. So both Fulton County Schools and ATC have a passion for supporting young people. What do parents and students need to do to prepare for their exiting uh, new programs or exciting new programs? I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to say they need to engage. Mm -hmm. So that engagement really is the role of Atlanta Technical College and Fulton County Schools. We have to engage the community. We have to engage the community so that they are informed of what these options are. So I talked about option B, which is a personalized path to graduation, where it's only nine core credits and everything else is taken in that technical field. But then there's the traditional diploma, option A, which is the 23 credits. Mm -hmm. So parents have to engage with counselors. Students have to engage with counselors so that they can begin to think about which option is really the best for me and best for my family. Another critical piece, and this is something where we engage in this and we are required to engage in youth science. And youth science is an aptitude assessment, if you will. So we can find out what's your natural aptitude and career area. And it's something all of our students take. But how do you take the results of youth science? So one, you have to take the assessment. But mm-hmm. two, how do you take the results of that inventory to help funnel you towards the career that would be most appropriate? So if it's in one of the areas that we're going to have here at the Fulton County Schools Middle College, go ahead and engage. Find out what the options are. And know that every Option is different. Option A and option B, they're, they're different. But understand and know which one is going to be best for you. Okay. So if you had to guess what this partnership will look like in five to ten years from now, what would you be hoping for? I would say five to ten years from now, we would have students who have already graduated. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I'm going to think more so towards those 10 years. When you think about your graduates, you always want them to give back. So what does that alumni relationship really include? Well, when you're at middle college, you will need to engage in workforce um, mentorships or even work, work-based learning activities. Mm-hmm. So I would want the alumni to be able to provide those types of mentorships. Be the mentor on the other end. Be that person that has that business that's already established to say, I would love for our students to go ahead and have that opportunity while they're at middle college to work in my location. Another piece is as we're building this, we are putting together various advisory boards from the various industries. So 10 years from now, I would love for those alumni to be able to serve on that advisory board because that really shows us, one, you're giving back, but two, you have established yourself well enough in the community to really speak to the future of that industry. And that's what you ultimately want for your graduates. You want them to be able to succeed in whatever path that they choose. Amen to that. So before we close out, can you leave us with an Atlanta Tech Talk success tip? Atlanta success talk uh, tech tip. Uh, One, I want you to know the multiple ways, know that there are multiple ways to secure the bag. So we always think about, "Mm, I need to go to college in order to become, you know, a lot of traditional what what would be um, careers. But there are many different opportunities that when you graduate from, say, this middle college, that you can secure the bag. Because I would say across the nation, studies have shown there's about 30 million jobs. Mm -hmm where you, it's not required you have a bachelor's degree. Mm-mm. And that entry salary is 55000 or above. So my question or my success tip is know what it is you're naturally um, good at. What's that thing you really, really like to do? And the question is, how do you take what you are naturally good at and kind of find your way to the career of choice. And when you do that, you will be able to be successful. So thank you again to our special guest, Dr. Jima Whitaker from from Fulton County Schools. And for more information about Atlanta Technical College, please visit us at www.atlantatech.edu. I'm your host, Antonio Hicks, and this has been Atlanta Tech Talks. (laughs) 